In this lesson, I'd like to go over organizing your files and folders on your computer using Snow Leopard. To begin, I'm going to double click on the Project Files folder that was copied to my hard drive when I installed the Snow Leopard videos, or if you're watching these videos on the internet, downloaded from the internet in the same manner. So I'm just going to double click on that folder, and it's going to display the contents of the Project Files folder. Inside of that folder is a folder called Assets. So I'm going to click on that, and it's going to display all the files contained inside of that folder. Now, one of the ways that I really enjoy looking at files, especially images, using Snow Leopard, is using a feature called Quick Look. So to do that, I'm going to click on the Apple image at the top of the column. Then I'm going to hold down my Shift key, and I'm going to click on the Sweet Gum image and that's going to select all of the contiguous images inside of that folder. I could have done the same thing by simply typing command A on my keyboard to select all the files contained within that folder. Now to view files using Quick Look I can do this in a couple of ways. I can click on the Quick Look icon in my toolbar and that's going to open up the Quick Look window. Now the Quick Look window can be resized and moved wherever you like. So I can move this around and I can drag this to make it larger. But another way that I can open up Quick Look, I'm going to click on the X up here in the upper left corner to close this window. The other way I can access Quick Look is simply by pressing the space bar on my keyboard. That's going to do the exact same thing. So it's just a shortcut for doing the exact same thing inside of Snow Leopard. Now once I have this Quick Look window open, I can use the previous arrow, and that's going to look at my previous image, or the next arrow to look at the next images in my list of files. I can also press the play button to automatically play a slideshow inside of Quick Look, and this will automatically toggle through all the images that I have selected. I'm going to go ahead and press the pause button to stop that slideshow. In addition, I can click on the index sheet button. This is a great way to simply look at all the images in a small thumbnail view, and then I can simply click on each image to view the large version of it. In addition, I can click on this double arrow to view my images in full screen. And if I do this, you're going to see it automatically goes into slideshow mode, and this is simply a great way for yourself to view images or to show images and files to other people. It's very useful. So to stop the slideshow, I can simply move my mouse and the controls are going to be displayed again. Or I could simply click the escape key on my keyboard and that will get out of the full screen mode and take me into the normal sized quick look window. Now this particular file is a movie so it's actually playing the animation. I'm just going to click the pause button to stop that for now. And I'm going to go ahead and click the X in the upper left hand corner or press the escape key on my keyboard to exit out of that. Now let's learn a little bit about organizing our files. Right now we're looking at the assets folder that is currently in our project files folder on our desktop. What I would like to do is copy some of these images into my home folder so that I can organize them the way that I'd like. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another finder window. So I'll just go to the file menu and choose new finder window or simply press command N on your keyboard. And I've got a second window that I can use to organize my files. I'm just going to move this down and out of the way. And since all of these or most of these are images, I'm going to move these into my pictures folder. So in the second finder window, I'm simply going to click on the pictures folder and right now there's only one folder that contains my iChat icons but we're going to create some new folders that we can use to organize our files. To do that I'm going to make sure that I have the pictures folder highlighted and I'm going to go to the file menu and choose new folder. And the name is automatically highlighted allowing me to type in a new name for this folder. So I'm going to type the word nature and then to commit that change, I'm going to press the return key on my keyboard. Perfect. Now, I want to create another folder inside of the pictures folder. 
So simply click on the pictures folder in the first column and this time I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut. I'm going to type shift command N as in Nancy to create a new folder. This one I'm going to name creative. Once again, press the return key to commit that change. And now I've got a couple of folders that I can use to organize my files. If I go back to the first finder window, I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller so that I can see both areas that I'm working with. I'm going to click on the Apple image to select it. Now I'd like to select some other non-contiguous images. And by non-contiguous, I mean the images are not sequential in a row. So I'm going to select the Apple image. I'm also going to hold down the command key to select non-contiguous images and I'm going to choose Boat, Bridge, and Liberty. So all four of these files are currently selected but by holding down the command key I've selected them non-contiguously. Now if I were to just drag these files into my creative folder what's going to happen is they're going to get moved from the project files and the assets folder into my creative folder. In this particular case I want to make a copy. So I can do that very easily by simply pressing the option key on my keyboard then clicking on any of these highlighted images and dragging it to the creative folder. And when I release my mouse button it's going to copy those files to that folder. Let's go back to the assets folder and I'm going to click on the sweet gum image then I'm going to press the command key on my keyboard and I'm going to click the ice and the clouds image as well. Once again to make a copy simply press the option key on your keyboard click on any of these highlighted images and drag this to the nature folder and release your mouse button. Now when you click on the nature folder it will display the contents of that folder. One more thing I'm going to do is I have a movie in the assets folder. So I'm going to click on that file to select it and I'd like to copy this to my movies folder. So I'm going to come over here to the second finder window and I'm going to click on the movies folder to make it active. Then I'm going to come back to the assets folder and I'm going to select this bigbuck.mov file. I can open up this column so you can see the full name. It's called Big Buck Bunny. And so once again I'm going to hold down my option key and I'm going to click on that file and drag it down to the, the column to the right of the movies folder. And if you just hold your cursor long enough it'll make that window active so you can actually see what you're doing. When I release the mouse button, this is a larger file so it might take a second or two. But after that it's going to have copied that file into that folder. Perfect. So let's go back to the pictures folder. And we're done with this assets window at the top of our screen so we could close that by clicking on the red button and let's click on the nature folder to display the contents if I drag any of these files to the trash can that will put the file in the trash now when you trash a file the file is not immediately deleted if I come down to the dock and I click on that trash can it's going to display the file that I moved to the trash and this is kind of a extra step but it helps to protect you from accidentally deleting your files. Now you're going to notice that when you open up this trash window you have an empty button in the upper right hand corner where you can immediately delete this file if you want to. However a new feature in Snow Leopard is if you've moved this to the trash and you decide oh I don't want to do that you can select the file then you could go up to the file menu and you could choose put back. And what that does is it puts it back to the location from where you dragged it to the trash. So you'll notice if I close the trash folder, my sweet gum file goes right back to where it was. Now to illustrate the idea of deleting a file, I'm going to select the clouds.jpg image and we could go to the file menu and we could choose duplicate. And that's simply going to make a copy of that clouds file. Now if we drag this file to the trash, it's going to move it into that folder. If we're sure we want to delete it, we could go to the finder menu and we can choose empty trash. 
It will give us a warning asking us if we're sure we want to do this. I'm going to go ahead and click the empty trash icon and you can see that now the trash is empty. So now that you understand how to organize files and folders on your computer, go ahead and move on to the next lesson where you'll learn more information about how to work inside a Snow Leopard.